fellow Sudokans, and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday, the 26th of July, 2023. There's been a bit of a hiatus on my New York Times Sudoku Puzzles because uh, my main computer um, got <laughs> broke, <laughs> for want of a better word. Uh, my main computer broke um, on Friday, and I do have a a laptop that I could have used, but um, I've been too busy trying to sort things out. Uh, because actually, uh, in my case, the loss of a computer is like the loss of a dear friend. <laughs> and uh, it's uh, a tricky situation. Um, and I should explain a bit why. Okay, I have been using Macintosh computers for a very long time. I mean, more than 30 years. Uh, going back to some very early machines. At one time, I had more than seven of the machines that people had given me here in Bangkok. Journalists, mostly, kind of leaving Bangkok who had old, broken machines that they didn't use anymore. <coughs> or some people were trying to ask me to fix their machines, which I did quite regularly. And uh, so I'm quite, I've am quite i known uh, a lot about the Apple machines for a long time, and I've been using the Mac system for a very long time. And I... Still, much prefer it. I, I, I know that it's not better than Windows. I certainly wouldn't say that, but it is different, and I certainly gain much enjoyment from using the Mac operating system, uh, and have done since System Seven, System Seven, System Eight, Nine, Ten, and all the versions through. Um, and uh, I'm not an Apple fanboy though. And the thing is that Apple charges a fortune. I mean, I actually dislike the company as a company. They charge a fortune for their products as well. And uh, so for that reason, um, I would prefer not to use Apple, but I do like Apple and therefore am forced to use it. So for the past decade or more, actually a bit more than a decade, I've been using Hackintosh. Is I built my own Hackintosh, about three iterations of it actually, and the last one I built was a few years ago, and that's the one that you've been seeing me use up and for the last couple of years up until now. Um, it, it was a, a Hackintosh. If you don't know what Hackintosh is, that means it's uh, uh, at the Apple operating system running natively on a PC, an uh, Intel P PC, not a virtual machine, if you know what that is, um, but an actual running Mac. Everything works as standard. Um, now, um, that's still a really good... It, it, it was um, a good machine... But the point is that Apple has, in the last uh, year or two years, I think now may, could be, Apple has updated to its own version of the chip. So eventually, the uh, Hackintosh will not be supported uh, because of Apple's move to its own chips. And it's going to be impossible to get any Apple chips uh, to build your own Hackintosh. And so for that reason, I've decided, uh, when my computer broke down, I decided, well, it's time to bite the bullet and... And get another Apple computer. I do have a MacBook already, but it's time to get a new M2 computer. And uh, I have to say that it is not faster than the old Hackintosh. The Hackintosh was at least as fast, possibly faster than this. Um, it was a big machine with a fast graphics card, fast processor, but unfortunately couldn't be repaired. Um, and uh, so for that reason, I had to uh, bite the bullet and go with this. So uh, anyway, I'm on a new um, it should, things should look pretty much the same to you, though, um, except for the uh, the titles and stuff like that, where I'm using some different editing software. But hopefully, most, much r the rest of the stuff should be pretty much the same. Shall we get on with the game of Sudoku? Because I've wasted your time telling you, giving you my excuses as to why I've not been around for a while. Uh, okay, let's get on with the fives blocking across here, and let's put a five into that square there. I'm kind of a bit out of practice at Sudoku as well, I feel. <coughs> We've got six, uh, like so, down and up, six here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, missing numbers across here are 1, 2, and 9. And we've got 2 and 9, both affecting this square here. So that's going to be a 1, isn't it? And now we'll take the 1 down to the bottom, like so. That'll give me a 1 there. Okay, now we have 2 and 9 in these squares to complete this. And I see the 1 and 3 blocking down here. So that means that these squares must be 1 and 3. right? And we know this is 2 and 9. Oh, look, I could have got 7 anyway. <laughs> All right. Yes, I see. Now I could have put 7 in there anyway. But also I can get this, can't I? So we've got 1, 3, 2, 9. What's missing? Uh, 8. Uh, we have 8 blocking across here and 8 up here, so we'll put an 8 into that square. Okay, we have a 3 blocking this square and this 3 blocking these, so in fact we know that that is going to be our 3, then that will be our 1. Three across here and three up here means that will be a three. Uh, we have an 8 along the bottom here and over here down there. We have six uh, blocking down here and across there, so that's a six. And the two now blocking down here, we'll put two into that square there. We've got two blocking down here and two across here like this, so that's going to put two into that square. We've got two going down to the bottom down here like so, that's going to give us a 2 there. We have 2 blocking this square and 2 blocking this square, so that means that is a 2. We have 9 blocking here, so that must be a 9 in this column, and this will be a 5 here. Now we have 5 blocking this square. We have 5 blocking this square, 5 blocking this square, and 5 blocking this square. So in the top row, that's the... Oh, still hitting. <laughs> no change there on the new computer. I'm still using the old keyboard and, and Apple mouse. So uh, still hitting the wrong keys by mistake, as you can see. Right, we have 3 and 6 blocking down here, and we have 3 and 6 blocking across here, so I know that these squares contain 3 and 6 only. And look at this, we have 3 and 6 in the middle here, so that and si 3 and 6 blocking across here, so that means that 3 and 6 are in those squares, right? 
So if that's 3 and 6, we will be left in the white squares with 1 and 9, a pair of 1 and 9 here and here. Um, mm, yeah, but that doesn't do much. How about down here? We've got 3 and 6 here. So we've got 1 in these two squares. Uh, what else do we need? 7s, I don't know. And the 9s. Oh yeah, 9 blocking there. So 9 in these two squares. That's not being very kind, is it? Ah, what am I doing? Six across here, six across here, and six down here. In fact, there is the six there. <laughs> I, somehow I missed that down there. As There's nothing changed there. That's got to be our three then. <laughs> and there's me complaining that it's not being kind. In fact, it was being very kind. Three's blocking down like this. There's our three. Uh, we don't have five in the bottom row. We've got five blocking here, five blocking there. So there's our five. Hmm. Four from the top, blocking down here, and four across here means that's a four, and then the four blocking over here means that's a four, and we can finish here with uh, seven, is it? It's much. Uh, the one good thing is, though, that there is no fan on this uh, uh, Mac. Um, so whereas my old workhorse had a big fan, and so that was a bit noisy. Um, so you might be picking up some more background sounds. I, I kind of heard my neighbor's clock in the background there, sounding rather like Big Ben, small Ben, really, because it's tiny sound, not a big one. Okay, we have the six blocking up here, up here, and across there. So that'll be our six, and six across these rows, and up here to become our first completed digit. It's in there. Oh, and we had six and three in these squares, didn't we? So that's got to be our three. Now three across here and across here. That means that's going to be a three, and three and six are both done and out of the way. Uh, I can work out this, can't I? What goes here, isn't it? 8 and 9, is it? Yes. And this is 4 and 7. So 8, 9, 4, 7. This has to be a 2, doesn't it? I suspect we're getting to the tricky part.
Aha, seven blocks across here. So seven must be in one of these two squares. We'll take that and say that, sorry, you can't be a seven. So you're a seven and you're an eight to finish the row. And our seven surely is going to get, yes, there we go. Seven down here and seven across there means that that is a seven. And now we can finish this row with a one and we can put our one here. And we can finish this block with a 9. And 9 will block up here, giving us a 9 in this square. And this will be a 2. 2 blocks up here and 2 blocks across here like so. So that's going to be a 2. And to finish this column, I think it's a 5. It was. Now we've got 5 across here and 5 up here. So we'll go on with the 5s there. And that's the last 5. Here we need an 8. And 8 will block across here and up here, so that will be our 8. And the last number here is a 9, I do remember that. Um, okay, so now what? 1 number to go down here, it's a 7. And the 7 will block this square, so that will be our 7 there. And we've got sevens across and up. Actually, it's going up there. So that's the seven out of the way. And down here, what do we need? We just need a nine, I think it is. Nine will block up here, giving us a nine in this square. Nine going up there. And across here will give us nine there. One blocking across here means that this is our digit one. We also have a one blocking here. So that will be our final digit one. Here we need a 4 by the looks of it, and we need a 4 there and there. We have 4 blocking across here, so there's our 4. And we'll finish with a 9, so thankfully not a too, not too tricky a game to get back into the swing of things at the New York Times. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you again uh, sometime. Maybe not today. I'm probably too busy, but sometime I'll be around. Bye-bye.